At the Nova Nordisk Foundation Center for Basic Metabolic Research, University of Copenhagen, Associate Professor Roman Barthes and his team discovered a link between body weight in men and the information that could be passed down to their future children. Our research is about understanding how lifestyle factors like diet or physical activity affect the health of our children before we even conceive them. We have found that obese men carry information in their sperm cell that can affect the health of their children. So when we talk about the information kept inside our sperm cells, what we really talk about is something called epigenetic factors. And epigenetic factors changes according to the environment around us. Meaning that what we eat, if we exercise or not, or if we smoke, this will be remembered by the epigenetic factors. And the epigenetic factors will signal to the DNA telling whether the gene should be turned on or whether the gene should be turned off. And we believe that these information, uh, these epigenetic factors, will be remembered by the semen cell. And when this semen cell fertilizes the oocyte, this will be able to affect the development of the embryo and thereby affect the risk of disease in our children. We studied massively obese men that underwent a weight loss surgery called gastric bypass surgery that consists in reducing the caloric intake. And we found that sperm cells from these men, one week after the surgery, had more than 3,000 epigenetic marks changed. And one year after surgery, when they had lost 30 kilos, there were more than 5,000 of these marks that were changed. And these results show that lifestyle factor or nutritional stress has the potential to change the epigenetic information contained in our gametes. The researchers compared lean and obese men and found that obese men carry a distinct epigenetic signature in their sperm cells. These signatures were carried at genes that are important for the control of appetite and brain development. So if this epigenetic information is transferred to the children, then the children may be at more risk to develop obesity via a change in their eating behaviour. So when we look at all the sperm cells in a semen sample, we can see that the different cells look very differently. Some of them will lie completely still, some of them will move slowly but without a specific direction, and others will move very quickly and with a very specific goal. So when we uh, started the study, we decided to uh, study the epigenetic patterns of uh, this specific group of very motile sperm cells because these cells have the biggest potential to reach the egg in the female body, to fertilize it and to maybe later lead to a baby. So after we collected the semen samples, we applied a technique that specifically um, selects these uh, very motile sperm cells. Our result could explain, at least in part, why children of obese father are more at risk to develop obesity. We already know that we inherit genes from our ancestor. Our study implies that we inherit their lifestyle as well. This gives us an opportunity to change our lifestyle, how we eat, what we eat, how much we move, to change the health of our future children.